Hello everyone. The topic for today's discussion is Khalistan movement. And this topic will be very important for our inter international relation and point of view because uh, this is a very uh, trending topic. So we might expect some questions in our upcoming APSC mains related to this. So let's discuss about Khalistan movement. Khalistan movement. First of all, what is this exactly? Khalistan movement is a fight for a separate sovereign Sikh state in present day Punjab that is including both India and Pakistan. Mane Sikh state. Sikh Hokolor Akon uh Hukia states akon sovereign Suki Sikh state or Dimani who is a Khalistan movement. Aru Hea Markot Diman Korise Punjab part to Punjab not just the Indian part, both India and Pakistan. And this movement was crossed in India following the Operation Blue Star. We have to remember it, Operation Blue Star and Operation Black Thunder. This Operation Blue Star 1984 and Operation Black Thunder 1986 and 1988. But it continues to evoke sympathy and support among the sections of the Sikh population, especially in the Sikh diaspora uh, that are in the countries like Canada, UK and Australia. Jodiu Amar e Operation Blue Star 1984, Operation Black Thunder 1986 and 1988, to cross India, India. Totapu, sympathy or support etiao. Sikh majority of the Sikh population, Hokolur Kotakobon, right? Sikh population, especially Ziki Sikh diaspora apnar, Canada, UK, Australia, Nisina County, Ase, Te He Hokolor Pra, Etiao Sympathy or Support Pabulu Hoi Kam Hoyase. He took our own a Sikh idea, a Kalisan movement to Akuever Punor Alusonar Bihoyose. Now let's discuss about the timeline and origin and timeline. Its origin have been traced back to Indians' independence and subsequent partition along the religious line. We all know about that Indian independence and its partitions, basically based on religious point of view. We cannot forget about the direct action day of that uh, Muhammad Ali Zinnah's declaration, how many lives gone because of that, so we should not go back to, I should not discuss about these things in this session. We have to stick to the point. But this particular origin also, it means the origin of Khalistan movement also traced back to India's independence and subsequent partition along, remember the line, the religion's line, means religious line. So the Punjab province, which was divided between India and Pakistan, witnessed communal violence and generated millions of refugees. The historic Sikh Empire's capital, Lahore, as well as sacred Sikh sites like, you know, Nankana Sahib, the birthplace of Guru Nanak that went to Pakistan. So the Pakistan, the new religious line of division was in Punjab province, India or Pakistan, Right, Yarpra Bohut communal violence hole, refuses Bohut generate hole, or is a Sikh Empire capital Lahore. Jot Niki Amar Bohut, Abner, or Bohut, the Nukadhorn or side six sites like Nankana Sahib, Zitu Niki, Abner Zianiki, Bart Place Asil, Kar, Guru Nanokor, Kabila Pakistan or side egul. Now, while most Sikhs found themselves in India, they were a small minority. 2% of the population in the country. So they became minority now because very less population in comparison to the whole Hindu population and Muslim population is concerned. So they are only 2%. Now the political struggle for greater autonomy began with Punjabi Chuba movement for the creation of a Punjabi speaking state. So that that particular autonomy, greater autonomy, when struggle for greater autonomy began with Punjabi Suba movement. Okay. The State's Reorganization Commission Report of 1955 
but rejected this demand. But the state of Punjab was reorganized, trifurcated into the Hindi Hindu majority Himachal Pradesh and Haryana and Punjabi Sikh majority Punjab in 1966. Jodu is a Punjabi Subha movement. At a greater autonomy, which I shall take to he to reject korile kune korile reject state reorganization commission report 1955 but still punjab amar eta not reorganize kora hol state khonok trifurcate kora hol jeneke hindu majority jod asil hindi speaking and hindu majority heya hol apunar himachal pradesh aru haryana teneke punjabi sikh majority jod ahil heya hol amar punjab Ketia Korahul, 1966. Karmote, the State's Reorganization Commission Report, 1955. The Punjabi Suva movement had galvanized the Akali Dal, who is concluded the Anandpur Sahib Resolution, 1973, demanding autonomy, not secession from India for the state of Punjab. Okay. Then this demand had gone global in 1971. By 1971, when an advertisement in the New York Times proclaimed the birth of Khalistan. So this is New York Times. There was an advertisement proclaiming the birth of Khalistan. So this demand to the Punjabi Subha movement or start hole. Then look at the two greater autonomy besides the two state reorganization commission report a namanila reject correlate of happy you at a population manapner majority basis of Punjabi Sikh Punjabi speaking and Sikh population basis of Punjab con Thai Farket Korahul. He was all put in Haryana Punjab 18 Econ Hole 1966. Our Punjabi soup as it is about movement as he Akali doll. Akali Dal, I hope you all know, you probably heard about this. So he Akali Dal, Javi Subha Mohamed, he concluded Korile Anandpur Sahib Resolution. What did he do? He concluded it. Conclusion is that conclusion is that autonomy is not secession from India, but for the state of Punjab. But he hey, demand to 1971, what did he do? In New York Times, remember this: this movement are spreading from those countries where there those maximum of diaspora were there, right? So New York Times had an advertisement published whole, so that neki Khalistan or Bihoye, ah, they are looking at Japan Korile, proclaim Korile the birth of Khalistan. And then by the 1980s, the appeal of Jernil Singh. Bhindra, when he is a, I mean, all of the news of Hunibolo Paisilusake, our news of Asil Bohutetu. So he, Jarnel Singh, Bhindra Wale, Zitu, Ata, Mane, Appeal Asil, he to a good take of heart mental travel create Koribole. So by the 1980s, the appeal of Jarnel Singh, Bhindra Wale, had started creating travel for the government. He and his followers. So you have to remember this name, Jarnel Singh Bhindra Wale. So this Bhindra Wale is a appeal to very basic focus. He and his followers were getting increasingly violent. Now this is moving towards violent. Okay. In 1982, support from the Akali Dal's leadership, he launched a civil disobedience movement called, called the Dharam Youth Marsha and took up the residents inside the Golden Temple, directing demonstration and clashes with the police. So, Zarnel Singh Bhindra Wale, support Pale Akali Dalor Pura, our 1982 Teoluke Econ Civil Disobedient Movement start Korile, Korpra Korile, our Golden Temple or Peter, Teoluke, he nam dile he bosutur, he civil disobedient movement to nam dile, Dharm Yut Mocha, our Teoluke ki Korile. Residents took up the resident inside the Golden Temple and directing demonstration and clashes with the police. Police were got a class curriculum. So the main leader, you can say that uh, who is the main leader, who was the main actually leader behind this violent movement is the Jarnel Singh Bhindrawale and Akali Dal gave the support for this. Now, what was the Operation Blue Star? 
the Khalistan movement was crushed in India following the Operation Blue Star by the Indian Army to flush out the militants from the Golden Temple. Hey, the Golden Temple le goi pele tayo luke tu direct class police or got class kora tu start kora isil. So he to kotrabor karne amar Indian Army eta operation start kora hol. Zak neki Operation Blue Star naam dia hol. The operation this means the Khalistan movement was crossed in India from Operation uh, by India following the Operation Blue Star by the Indian Army to flush out the militants from the Golden Temple and neutra neutralize the Bhindra uh, Valley in 1984. So, 1984, the Indian Army Operation Blue Star neutralized kori bole hoy kham hol then operation black thunder in 1986 and 1988 so this consequent operations that is operation blue stars 1984 operation black thunder 1986 and 1988 are actually to neutralize the movement that the, that violence movement created by bhindran wale uh, to clash with the police to demand that movements uh, khalistan forcefully acquiring it okay now while the operations were ostensibly successful in their aims they gravely wounded by the discretion of the golden temple the sikh community around the world and also galvanized the demand for khalistan jodi operation to successful whole totapi ki hole exactly a is a sikh community mazot eta won ahi gol mane Bohut hoin kaksi community uh monotata veleg horner uh emotion ahil lookor pale. So that also galvanized the demand for Khalistan. Then what happened after Blue Star? After month the of the Operation Blue Star, Prime Minister India Gandhi was assassinated on October 31, 1984, and then that triggered the worst communal violence since partisan. Bohut, bohut, uh, yat, bohutok mara hoisil, bohutor logot, bohut bea hoisil. So, is a uh, in PM Prime Minister India Gandhi, uh, the local he seek bodyguard of Zinjan Asile, Zarp, Zoriote, assassinate Korahul. He tarpasot at the worst communal violence. Partition of Pasoji to support the basic worst communal violence hole, eight way hole. So now we can say that Punjab became the hub of a long drawn out insurgency that lasted till 1995. So allegedly supported by the Pakistan. Remember, that ye enukadhona kisuman sees hoy ji amar Indian sovereignty upport weekend kora kibata movement start hoy. He bilakot fuel diye ba he bilak that is being fueled by actually Pakistan. So Punjab became the half of a long drawn, drawn out insurgency and that is that was eligibly supported by Pakistan and that lasted till 1995. Then the movement continues to evoke sympathy and support among the sections of Sikh population, especially in the Sikh diaspora. The Sikh diaspora is supported Today, the movement is again fueled by the vote bank politics, social issues, Social issues like unemployment, drug minance in Punjab, then dissatisfaction among the Sikh diaspora and the support from non-state actors. So the, the support from non-state actors is also a concern. And we know about the Golden Triangle. We, you, you all, we all know about the Golden Triangle and Golden Crescent where those drugs activities are more so dark the means uh, you know that in punjab is also a part of it right so whenever the youth been misled with uh, drug then they can be employed to anything any it means uh, unlawful activities drugs did yok ar ta luke ji koribo bisare mane ji korabo bisare ta lokor pura mane ki boli koy korabo pari so a bilaku eta reason hoy jar karone ei apunar khalistani movement tu bahut fuel diyeche so these are the reasons i think that uh, enough about the khalistan movement so any questions now if we uh, if we can see in the mains regarding khalistani movement we can write like this okay so 
how we will conclude this? We can conclude like in order to curb the Khalistani movement and its ideology, then the government needs to address the mentioned issues that been mentioned here. The above mentioned issues means the main issues I have said that here it is food fueled by vote bank politics. That is of course there. Social issues, mainly we have to concern about social issues like unemployment, drug maintenance in Punjab, then dissatisfaction among the Sikh diaspora. If one-to-one -one conversation, if some kind of communication taken place between those diaspora and from Indian government side, that will also help to neutralize this Khalistani movement. Otherwise, see, if emotions being started, then it is very hard to deal with that. So, for that type of things, we need emotional intelligence. So in this case also, emotional intelligence is at most required to neutralize the Khalistani movement. That's it. I hope enough discussion regarding this. So we'll meet very soon with the model question answering part in the next session. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.